Hey guys, Kalf here, and today I have a very quick video showing you guys an update to some of my generators. So as you know, some of you know, I have a website that has a bunch of uh, download links and generators that do some pretty cool stuff, but they obviously eventually become out of date. And so while I could update the website version, they use JavaScript, it's very slow, I don't even have a loading bar, and all these kind of issues makes them hard to work with. And so I decided to make a Python script uh, that is actually like a Python UI using tkinter uh, that's very basic, but it's able to generate these things a lot faster and have a little bit more flexibility while being simpler for me to code and maintain. So the main one that I'm showing you today is scoreboard trees. I also edited the block packager, which is now called block converter, uh, which does work, but there is a actual more efficient method that I may look into implementing, but that might take me some time. So we're gonna mainly focus on these scoreboard trees. So to get this app, you have to go to the link in the description, which will have this, which is the releases page. And uh, basically, you if you are in Windows 10, you'll be able to just download it right away. Uh, but if you're not in Windows 10, maybe this will work in Windows 11. Um, but you'll have to either generate it or run the Python script yourself, which you can do by going to the actual GitHub, downloading the code and running root.py, and then installing any libraries that you're missing. Now, to get this, if you do have Windows 10, you just click here to download it. Uh, once it loads, it's only like 40 megabytes, but it might give you a warning about some viruses or something or dangerous, whatever. Um, but you're just gonna hit keep anyways, because uh, you can just trust me, it doesn't have a virus. Uh, so then we go to the, uh, we click on it to run it. And again, it might tell you that you, uh, it might have a virus. And that could be because the uh, script, it's a Python exe that messes with files in your computer. So, but we're gonna run with it anyway. Uh, all it does is just generate folders and MC files. So once you click run, you're gonna get this nice window and it'll have block converter by default and scoreboard trees on the right tab. And so you can switch between these tabs. There's a little bit of a loading thing, but I think that's just tkinter's delay. Um, but we're going to mainly focus on scoreboard trees. Now, if you wanna use block converter, you can, it does work, but it's just not the most efficient way to do this uh, problem. And so I may update that in the future, but scoreboard trees is the most efficient way to approach this problem. So that's why I'm putting it out there. So a scoreboard tree, if you don't know entirely, is a way to efficiently convert a scoreboard into a command to be dynamic. So let's say I want to do slash damage at S 20.0, but then I want to make this work so that if I put a score of 100, it does 20. But if I do like a score of 95, it'll do 19.5 and all the values in between from zero to 100 map down to zero to 20. And so to do that, I need to create a hundred if scores. Not so great. So to make this more efficient, we create a tree where it says, is your score between zero and 50 or 51 and 100? And if it's between zero and 50, now let's check again, is it between zero and 25? And so it kind of divides your number range into a uh, smaller amount of uh, range value checks. And in our case, we actually use eight branches, but that's just an efficiency thing when you're using if score detections. Uh, but effectively, you're going to get a logarithmic reduction in file count uh, in uh, command counts at the cost of needing more files. And so this automatically generates all the files and folders that you need uh, in a very efficient way. So we're going to take a look at the scripts to implement what we just talked about. So the namespace is going to be starter because I'm in the starter pack. The player is going to be at S. The scoreboard is going to be test. We're going to go from a range of one to 100. And then our path is going to be damage. Now inside here, the way that it works inside this window is out is the string that is used for the command and score is the value that is between start and end. And so if I delete this placeholder stuff that shows that you can do Python scripting with it, and I just type score divided by 20, that will take the, uh, no, score divided by five. That will take 100 divided by five, so that'll be 20.0, and all the values in between it will keep. So then I change this to damage at S, and then I click generate. And when you generate it, it will create a folder called generated right next to the exe, and we can go into starter functions, copy the damage folder, then we can go into our starter pack, go to data, starter, functions, and paste that folder. And then you'll notice that it generates a bunch of files, but one is called root, and that's the one you run. And so when I type slash reload, and I run slash function, 
starter damage slash root, I will take five hearts of damage exactly. And then if I do scoreboard player set at S test 75, I will take, oh, well, enough to kill me. Um, so let me just run that again. And you'll see that I take three quarters of my HP bar, uh, which is what you would expect to happen. So that's pretty much it. You can take a look at the files it generates. It has kind of a weird naming convention, but that's just for simplicity and you don't really need to know what's going on. But as you can see, it divides uh, in two here. So if you're between one and 64 or 65 and 128, then in here, it maps from 65 to 104. And from here, it maps from one to 64. And then from here, it maps exactly one to one. So we go 97, 98, 99, 100. And here we go 89, 90, 91, blah, 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 blah. And all the values are what you would expect them to be. 90 is 18.0, 95 is 19.0, and all the numbers in between. Now, one thing you may notice that's kind of weird is, for example, we go above the end value. And that's just because of the way that the for loops are coded. Uh, I could make it not go above the end value, but it doesn't really matter per for performance. Uh, maybe I'll add that as an update in the future. If it's a huge problem, it just would slow down a little bit on the uh, generator side uh, and could bring future bugs if I'm not careful with how I implement it. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Just a quick way to generate scoreboard trees using variable Python scripts for the output, which is kind of cool. You can do a lot of complicated logic in here. Uh, if you guys thought this was useful, let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you next time. Peace.